even all they do because I know they help other people. I never thought they would remember me. I know there's a special place for them because of all the good they've done. God loves you, and he can guide and protect you wherever you go. Today on The Believer's Voice of Victory, Kenneth Copeland encourages us to take the time to listen to God. When we hear his voice, we can follow his good plan. Let's look in the fourth chapter of the book of Mark. Verse 22 you remember in, in this chapter, Jesus teaching on the sore soul of the word. And he said, if you understand this parable, you can understand them all. That the, the laws of the kingdom of God are very simple. They're not complicated. That's the reason most people miss them. And you hear in the 14th verse of Mark 4, down through the 19th verse, now look at that. It's only verse 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. That's not many verses. But in those verses, Jesus explained and revealed everything the devil can possibly do to stop you from receiving a hundredfold with the Word of God. No, the devil doesn't have anything that's not listed there. Now, he may package it up and try to change the way it looks, but uh-uh, no, no. He's stuck with it. <laughs> he can't do any more, more than that. Now, in this, I want you to notice this. Verse 22, there is nothing. Say nothing. nothing. There's nothing hid which shall not be manifested neither was anything kept secret but that it should come abroad now he's referring to these five different things here that Satan can use He will try to hide and keep you from making the connection with what he's doing to keep you from receiving. But he can't hide it from you. No, no, unless you get to saying, well, I just don't ever get anything. I just don't ever know anything. Well, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Now, notice this very, very carefully. If any man, man there represents humankind. If any human being, I don't care where you are or where you are from or what has happened to you or what has not happened to you. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Take heed what you hear, with what measure you shall measure it, it shall be measured unto you. He didn't say what measure God has set aside for you. No, no, he said the way you measure it, it'll be measured to you. If you read a hundredfold, hundredfold what? Teaspoons? Coffee cups? Dump trucks? Take your pick. The way you hear it. Now, you remember what we just read earlier during our offering time? Oh, Lord, it's dark. 
Oh, uh, you know, it's late. It's, it's <laughs> I, I remember something Charles Capps told me years ago. He said an old farmer laying there nervous and worried and couldn't sleep, and, and the old clock started chiming, you know, in the other room. Bong, bong. And ever bong, it just got louder, you know. And he miscounted and counted 13 chimes. And he, he hit his wife and said, wake up, woman, it's later than it's ever been. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people there. It's just later than it's ever been, man. It's too late. It's too late. Well, you said it. No, it ain't too late. Uh-uh. It's not too late. You need to wind your watch. Now, if any man has ears to hear, let him hear. Take heed what you hear with what measure you measure it. It'll be measured unto you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath, now wait a minute, he that has, has what? Ears to hear. He that hath ears to hear, to him shall be given. He that has not ears to hear, from him shall be taken even that which he has. Now who's going to take it away from him? Satan. Now before we get through, we'll see the mechanics of this before we get done with it. But let's look in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8. And we'll read there at verse 8. Now, you, you, you do realize that Jesus was and is a preacher. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to preach recovery of sight to the blind, to preach deliverance for the captive, to preach to the acceptable year of the Lord. He's a preacher. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. He preached the word of God. Now notice this. Verse 8. Other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And now he's talking about receiving a hundredfold, isn't he? And when he had said these things, he cried. He's a preacher. And other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And he that hath ears to hear, let him. He got loud about it. That means this is the biggest thing he's saying in that sentence. If you ain't got ears to hear, I don't care how many fold it is, you ain't going to get it. He got excited and he shouted about it. Well, you've heard me say, listen to me. Amen. Brother Hagin, you say, are you hearing me? Amen. And I'd holler just a laugh. Yeah! <laughs> well, get excited. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. God's made his choice. He's decided if you'll listen, you can have it. So, right now, you and I are going to open our ears to hear. We're going to hear from heaven like we ain't never heard from heaven before. Come on. Yes. Yes. I'll tell you, I, it's just roaring on the inside of me. It has been, <laughs> has been uh, j this whole evening. Whew. It's here, folks. It's here. Your time has come. It's here. Your deliverance is here. Everything you need is here. It's come. It is here. The, 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 the time has come Amen. for the church to explode out, out of this Hallelujah. mess we've been in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's here. Praise God. Oh, Brother Elijah, it's here. It's time. It's time. Glory be to God. All of this stuff that everybody's a hollering and a grappin' and a fussing at one another about, all of that is the spirit of division. And the spirit of division talked about what like the apostle Paul wrote to the church at Corinth, and he said, You're divided up. The spirit of division has got you split up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Well, the spirit of division takes a difference and magnifies it in hate in order to separate people and a house divided against itself cannot stand. Amen. That's what racism is. That's the root of it. Amen. That's the root of it. Because race is, is not just ethnic difference. There's the male race, the female race, the brother race, the sister race. There's management race and labor race. So you take the difference, magnify it and hate, and they, they stay apart. But if we ever get together, oh, son. I like what uh, my son Creflo Dollar said one day. He, he said, he said, you know, Dad, he said, I, you know, I don't understand why white folks clap on the one, two, three, four. He said, I don't know, I don't know why white folks clap on the one beat and the three beat. And he said, I don't know why black folks clap on the two and the four beat. One, two, three, four. But he said, if we get together, we don't miss a beat, brother. <laughs> One through four. <laughs> Amen. We got them covered. See? But if, if, if the devil can get in there and magnify it and hate, mm -hmm. he'll split it up. Yes. Yes. And that's what he's been doing in this country to tear down the most powerful gospel preaching nation that ever was on the face of this earth. That's it. That's it. And when you shine the light on who's actually doing it, yeah. the spirit of division. And quit blaming people for it. That's it. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him in the light and he can't stand the light. Yes. Read the back of the book, brother. We win. Yes. <laughs> and we're there. We're at the back of the book. We win. Now, hallelujah. So he cried. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. So th this is big, isn't it? Now notice, well, we don't turn there, I just remind you of it because all of you remember it. Jesus talked about, well, I will turn to it too. Let's go to the book of Matthew in the uh, 13th chapter. The 15th verse, this people's heart is waxed gross or become gross. Their ears are dull of hearing their eyes. They have closed. They closed them. If you can close your eyes, you can by choice open your eyes. And God's no respecter of person. You open your eyes, he'll show you something. Now notice what else he said. Last when? Anytime. Well, tonight is anytime. And we're going to open our eyes and open our ears, and we're going to take it and have it. He said anytime they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and be converted I should or I will, I will heal them. Anytime. Any, anytime. Anytime is fun. Because that's right now. Anytime. But, say it out loud. Read it out loud. Blessed are my eyes for they see. Blessed are my ears for they hear. I Take it. Say it. I take it. I open my eyes. I open my ears. I take ears to hear. I have it. I thank you for it. And I forgive. 
If I have ought against any. Now give the Lord praise. I have ears to hear. I have open ears. Now, I believe we're ready. Praise God. We got open eyes and open ears. I open my heart to hear. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, there's any man in him. If any human being, now that means he's knocking at the door of every human being's heart. Every one of them. God is not an absentee God. He is speaking to every breathing human on earth. On 9-11, he spoke to everybody. Told the terrorists not to do it. But they disobeyed. I mean, you can prove all of this by Scripture. He spoke to everyone in the towers. Told them exactly what to do, exactly where to go. A lot of them heard. Fewer than that obeyed. But a lot of them obeyed. And instead of having 20,000 dead people, it's far less than that. Yeah. So see, you can't say, well, I just don't understand why God allowed those people. Hey, it wasn't, God didn't cause any of that. Amen. He said, I place before you life and death, blessing and cursing. You choose. You choose life. You choose life. Why do bad things happen to good people? Because good people make bad choices. But see, most of the time, and you've been that way. I have too. been just spiritually dense. You didn't hear it. Those days are over for us. Amen. Why? Well, we just opened our ears. We just opened our ears to hear. Amen. One fellow said one time, you know, although old people say God speaks to them, he said, I'm afraid of them. I'm afraid of people who say God speaks to them. I have more tendency to be afraid of those that say he doesn't. <laughs> They're liable to hurt you. <laughs> no, God is speaking. He has spoken to us in times past by the prophets. And in these last days, he has spoken unto us by his son, Jesus. And now what the first chapter of the book of Hebrews starts out by saying, he is still speaking to us by his son. And his son is knocking on the door of every living heart on this planet. And he said, if any man will hear my voice and open, I'll come in. That means any man can hear him. Now, if you develop in it and you exercise your faith and every time the devil says, nah, nah, God, not going to be talking to me and all this little fellow like you, you say, you're a liar, Satan, and the father of it. And just, and just for that, I, I'm going to pay more attention today than I did yesterday. And my confession is, yes, he does. He loves me and he speaks to me. He speaks to me in his written word. He speaks to me in the spirit. He has people speak to me. I, and he, he speaks to me all the time. I have ears to hear. Partnership includes the profit's reward. You're on an equal basis with all the rest of us. Particularly with Gloria and me for preaching it. Every, every soul that got saved. You get equal reward for it as if you had preached the message. Because which is the most important person that preached the message or the person that bought the clothes that I wore while I preached it? Or the person that bought the fuel that got us here? Amen. See, we have, we have this together. And you have equal benefit with it. The seed sown in this ministry is reaping a harvest of individuals from children to disasters to souls. And that's the main reason that we partner with you. Through partnership, God rewards you on the same level as the Copelands, crediting you for every salvation, healing, deliverance, or blessing encountered.
we have six communities here in Crow Reservation. About four of these communities were isolated because of the waters. My old home across the street got about 30 inches of water in it. It's been there since my dad and grandfather built it in 1950. And I could feel, actually feel the wind trying to tug at me and to pull me out of the house. But also in that I felt like a, a hand holding me down. This area right here, there are no deaths. Crazy. No serious injuries. My husband went to the door and he came back and he said, Kenneth Copeland Ministries is here. I said, you're joking, you're joking. I was so surprised, so shocked, but feel so much love. We sure appreciate it as a small town. We're a small town, but we've got a big heart. We really appreciate it. Depths of our heart yeah. for Kenneth and Glory and ministry for coming here to Moscow. We haven't We haven't been through this before, but they've been to all these different things, and they know the different procedures. It's awesome. They blessed us with some finances to be able to distribute and help people. You know, most ministries don't do that. So really, it's it's being Jesus on the earth, not just talking about it. I just believe in all they do because I know they help other people. I never thought they would remember me. I know there's a special place for them because of all the good they've done. So we stand. We get the wrong, but we're encouraged. Look outside, we're encouraged. We know that our God, our Redeemer, is in We know. So thank you, Kenny Copeland Ministry, Glory, and all the partners, and everyone, and all of you who have come out to, you know, to give us an encouraging word and to strengthen us. And we just thank the Lord. We thank God that we are partners to a ministry that cares. You know, Glory, watching our, our partners and, and partners helping partners, that's what the Lord gave us back there years ago about this. And um, they listed off all those names, Slotel, Louisiana, Moore, Oklahoma, and listed, began to list those. My goodness, I remember as they came up, I remember every one of them. And as we prayed and believed God and stood for our partners and stood up wherever yes, we were yeah. and shouted the word of God and his and, and stood there and stood with them. This is the reason it's so important to go strong in believing God for a million partners. Yeah. And the, the Lord said that we would have a million partners. We would be the largest Holy Ghost gang on the earth. Mm, and he, he, he called us, he called us a, a, a gang because a gang sticks together and strong together yeah, and, right. and work together and get that's things good. done and stand and help one another. And uh, oh, it just blessed me all over again just, just, just to that see a, that. Oh, that was a thrill. Amen. It's a really thrill. And, and uh, I, I just, um, uh, to see Riley and Steve, I mean, man, they get in the thick of it with them out there. And Tim is been there in the middle of all of that and we've watched watch people come up out of the ashes Thank and out Lord. of the floods and come up stronger and, and more prosperous than they were when it happened. And that that's big. Amen. Amen. Before we leave today, something we want to sow into your life. It's our home for Christmas uh Christmas album. Um you know Gloria, when I was recording this, I went into the studio to record it. And I knew the Spirit of God had given me the song, I'll Be Home for Christmas. And mm -hmm. I thought, what about it? I'll Be Home for Christmas? That's, 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 that's not a great song. Uh, it, but it's, but it, it's not something that I usually sing because it's not a gospel song. But when I got in the studio and I began to sing it, the, the prayer came up in me for our people in yes, the military I remember that. stationed in different places all over the world to, to, to cause all of us together to, to begin to pray for them 
and get, to keep them safe and get them home safe. Praise God. And uh, I, that it, it's a it's it's strong blessing. Praise the Lord. Now some of these songs you're going to hear them a little bit different than than maybe you have before because like away in a manger is always sung very softly and very quietly because it's the first verse. But nobody ever hears the other verses. And these other verses are shouting hallelujah, glory to God like the angels That's on, on the album. mountains. And so anyway, we want to bless you with it. To request it, just uh, go to kcm.org or use the information that's on your screen right now. We want you to have it. We're sowing it into your life free and postpaid. Praise God. Merry and, Christmas. Amen. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Now, Jesus said, have faith in God. Amen. Now, say it with me. I believe. I believe. I will. I will. I take it. I take it. I have faith in God. I have faith in God. Father, I thank you for it. I thank you for it. And I forgive and if I, I have forgive. aught against any. I forgive if I have aught against any. You have the victory you in have Christ been. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. We'll see you tomorrow. This is Kelly from Glory reminding you again that Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Sell